and boom, episode four of Tech Talk. And now we've got a new time, Tuesday, Tech Talk Tuesday. I love the alliteration. I love you. Let's do this thing. Let's go. All right, what's going on, friends? Welcome to episode four of Tech Talk, brought to you by Leadership Institute. Welcome, my name is Stephen Rowe. I'll be your host, where it's my job to make sure that all of you are up to date with the latest trends, tactics, and strategy as it relates to digital and tech. And we're gonna take this in three parts, as always. Part one, headlines and current events. Part two, strategy and tactics. And part three, a call out to somebody or something that's doing something cool on the World Wide Web. And so let's go ahead and hop over to part one, headlines and current events. I've got three of them for you. The first one, TikTok has overtaken YouTube on average watch time. First of all, TikTok is trying to overtake Tech Talk, so that's already strike one for them, but it's okay. TikTok has overtaken YouTube on average watch time. Think about that for a second. If you have a TikTok, how long are these videos? They're like 15 seconds, they're like 30 seconds. People are watching hundreds of them, more so than the YouTube video that has like 10 minutes on it. This is an interesting direction. People are watching short form video at length and in bulk. And it's gonna be very interesting to see how far the short form format is going to be pushed. But right now, they're ahead of YouTube in terms of average watch time. Stay on the lookout and we'll keep you updated on that. That's gonna be interesting to follow. Let's push over to story number two. Story number two is Australians. And Australia, I mean, that whole continent's a prison now, right? Australia can't stop buying Samsung's new foldable phones. Foldable phones, we've seen these before, the Galaxy Flip 3 and the Galaxy Fold 3, and it reminds me of like kindergarten or first grade when we had to like fold paper, like hamburger style or, or hot dog style, and uh, that's what these phones allow you to do. And these are foldable phones that are not going away anytime soon. And I'm curious, this is really more of a question for everybody watching Tech Talk right now. You should leave a comment down below. What do you think about foldable phones. Would you get one? Do you think it's too early? Do you think hamburger or hot dog is better? You know, it is a really callback for me personally to, you know, middle school when we had those razors and crazers that would flip up. I was like the coolest kid in middle school because I had a razor phone. Now you might be the coolest kid in school if you have a Galaxy Fold 3. And so it's interesting to see. And I want to know what your thoughts are. Definitely drop a comment down below. And let's push over to our third and final headline of today of this week, which is Facebook smart glasses. And you can now wear Facebook on your face which is kind of interesting to see what they're doing. You know, Facebook, they took that face part extremely literally. And so they partnered with Ray-Ban to provide these new glasses and they're called Ray-Ban Stories. And really there's no augmented reality here. You're not gonna be able to post status updates or like photos on Facebook. They're straight up sunglasses, but with high tech features. It's gonna have a camera. It's gonna allow you to take pictures and video and also listen to music as if it's like a wireless headphone. These are pretty cool innovations too, especially from a style perspective. When I first saw smart glasses on the scene, it was Google Glass and I'm not gonna lie, it looked pretty dorky and I'm a dork and I still, I still think that I wouldn't put them on. And then we saw Snapchat release their spectacles, which were a little bit cooler. But now we've got Facebook literally partnering with Ray-Ban, which is an industry leader in sunglasses to create this particular technology. And it looks like it's gonna work out pretty well. We'll see what happens. The glasses start at $2.99 and you can buy them at Ray-Ban stores and also at Sunglass Hut and Lens Crafters. So if any of you purchase these, definitely know. let me know what you think. And I'm also curious to see how much adoption is going to take place. And I could see a lot of political implications here from a you know, pair of sunglasses that can capture and record video and take photos instantly. You know, if I'm driving as an example, even just as a, a quick one-off is, you know, the, you know, there's always something you wanna take a picture of that you can't get your phone out, get the camera on in time for. But if you're just wearing these sunglasses, you just gotta tap a button, that picture is captured or video is captured and that moment will now exist in perpetuity. All right, let's push over to part two, which is tactics and strategy. 
And in this episode, episode four of Tech Talk, glad you're with us, by the way, and I'm happy that you continue to listen. It's been awesome seeing uh, my friends, my family, and you reach out to me, and I always encourage that you do that. But part two, tactics and strategy, here's what I got for you this week, and it's three emerging social media platforms that are actually worth your while. And I've got three of them for you. You've probably heard of maybe one or two, but I may surprise you with one of these options. But let's go ahead and start at number one, which is Nextdoor. Nextdoor. And at its essence, Nextdoor is a social platform that's used to connect neighbors. Think of it a lot like Facebook, but just for your neighborhood. And so you're kind of only within your region, but you can then communicate with all the people that are around you. And of course, this reminds me of the great phrase from Tip O'Neill that all politics is local. And Nextdoor allows for direct reach to known residents in your community. If I'm in the business of running for office or even just being a community leader, Nextdoor is a powerful opportunity for me because I can really see the people in my community and most importantly, voters can see me directly engage with and help people in my community as best as I possibly can. This is awesome. And especially as we think about hyper local politics, Nextdoor is worth your while. All right, let's check out the second one, which is Rumble. You've probably heard of this one, maybe, maybe not, but think of it like YouTube, but less restrictive in general in terms of like a terms of service. And of course, YouTube expanded their hate and harassment policies earlier this year. And if you use like the word, you know, I'm, I'm even scared to use the C word, you know, that whole pandemic thing, the panorama, the Panda Express, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can't use the C word on YouTube without your video kind of getting nerfed a little bit. But that's why people have been pushing towards Rumble. And it looks a lot like YouTube, but a little bit more early stages in a lot of ways. You can see a lot of clips of dogs and people falling, but of course, a tremendous amount of political commentary. And there's a lot of influencers already taking advantage of this platform because it is number one, monetizable. That is an awesome opportunity for people, especially if you're trying to take off a video career. Now, a lot of influencers are there. Dan Bongino, Steven Crowder, Donald Trump Jr., Dinesh D'Souza, Mark Levin, Shark, Sean Hannity. I mean, there's so many people on this thing. It's worth you looking at. Again, this is an app and a website. Go ahead and check out rumble.com or download that app available in both iOS store and Google Play store. And this brings me to the third social media platform that's actually worth your while. And this one is Telegram. Telegram is a free messaging app that's focused on speed and security. And a great way to think of Telegram is like SMS, text messaging, and email combined. And it takes care of all of your personal and political messaging needs. And there's a couple great features, but the ones that stick out for me is number one, unlimited storage. And so I can, you know, kind of do a photo dump there or upload as many resources as I need to for my team, my group, my organization, etc. There's also media compression. And this one's really unique because if you pick on Facebook or Twitter and a couple other platforms and you upload a really high resolution photo or video, think like 4K, 8K, something really high quality, what happens is they compress that video or compress that photo and down res it just a little bit. But on Telegram, you can seamlessly send files between teammates and partners or fellow activists and not have to worry about media compression, which is great. You're getting the pure and pristine file, which is certainly ideal. Now, the other big thing is you can have groups up to 200,000 members. That's rivaling Facebook groups. And of course, if you're concerned about censorship on Facebook, this is a natural place to put your community. Telegram can be amazing and you can do video calls inside there. It's really, really interesting. And of course, the last one is Secret Chat. And this looks a lot like a Mission Impossible piece of technology. If you've seen it before, Mission Impossible, when they're like, this message will disappear and will destruct in three seconds. You know, three, two, one. Well, you could do the same thing now on Telegram. Thankfully, it won't blow up your phone, so that's ideal. Um, but you can make the messages you send between people a secret and it's end-to-end -end encryption, but then they'll disappear with the self-destructing timer as necessary. So if you're sending private information or just want to have a sensitive conversation, this is a great place to have it without fear of being seen by a lot of other eyeballs. It's going to be a direct one-to-one -one communication that can disappear from the internet to the best of our ability completely. 
So I hope these three websites are actually worth your while. Check them out. Of course, Nextdoor, Facebook, but for local communities in your neighborhood, Rumble, basically like YouTube, but a little bit more free form and super monetizable. And three, which is Telegram, which is like your email, SMS combined, and you can really organize in large groups and send files together seamlessly. These three websites are worth your while. All right, let's go ahead and push over to part three, which is success story. Somebody doing something truly amazing, something, some website. And for episode four of Tech Talk today, I'm shouting out Eric Thomas. Eric Thomas is awesome. Eric Thomas ET, the hip hop preacher, is somebody that I use as a resource almost every single day. And if you like motivation, you like getting pumped up, you may have recognized one of his quotes. Would you wanna succeed as bad as you wanna breathe? then you will be successful. Things like that, oh, it feels so good. And it gives me a ton of energy. And I really enjoy his content. And he has been doing this consistently every single week, dropping videos on YouTube. Most of the content is entirely free. And if you're looking for a pick me up, go check out his YouTube channel, Eric Thomas. It's ET, the hip hop preacher. So worth it. And I promise you will not leave without feeling at least a little bit more inspired. All right, well, That was the end of part three, and we're ending with our time together. But a couple things, a couple housekeeping items. Uh, First and foremost, as always, curious what you think about this tech talk. We keep getting better every single week. Leave a comment down below. What did you like? What can we do better? Uh, Feel free to DM me. Follow me at robots, R-O-W-E. B-O-T-Z, and this is our new time. We're gonna be launching every Tuesday, Tech Talk Tuesdays. It sounds really good, I like it, and I'm gonna be looking forward to being with you next week. But before I let you go, as always, the final quote of the week of this episode is, start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can, by Arthur Ashe. And that really speaks to a lot. Wherever you may be in this wonderful world of ours, if you have an idea, you have passion, you have drive, and you have something that you wanna take action on, let's start today. Let's do something. Let's do something great and we'll do it together. So I'll see you back here for episode five of Tech Talk next week, next Tuesday. And until then, remember to leave everyone and everything better than you found it. Peace.